Hello everyone and welcome again to our YouTube channel. So today, let us discuss adding simple fractions and mixed numbers without or with regrouping. So, huwag na nating patagalin. Mag-example na agad tayo. How do we add similar fractions? So, halimbawa, ang ating given ay 2 fifths plus 2 fifths. These fractions are similar. Not because of their numerator, but because of their denominator. So, kung mapapansin natin, the same ang kanilang denominator that makes our fraction similar. Kapag similar ang ating fraction, we will add the numerators. So, 2, eto yan, 2, plus 2, eto, all over, copy the denominator. And then, 2 plus 2, that is equal to 4. Copy the denominator, 5. So, dahil ang ating final answer ay in its simplest form na, hindi na natin kailangan pa mag lowest term. Another example ng addition of simple similar fractions. 1 seventh plus 2 sevenths. Ang set of fractions na meron tayo ay similar pa rin dahil pareho pa rin ang kanilang denominator. Kapag pareho ang denominator, again, we will just copy the denominator. And then add both the numerators. So, 1 plus 2. And then, let us have our final answer, 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3, all over, copy the denominator, 7. Dahil naka-simplest form na rin ang ating fraction, hindi na natin kailangan pang i-lowest term. So, ganyan ang pag-add ng simple similar fractions. Next example natin, how do we add mixed numbers? Kung saan, ang kasamang fractions, ang ating mga fractions ay similar pa rin. So, another example. 3 and 3 all over 12 plus 4 and 7 all over 12. So, how do we solve for this? Napaka-simple lang ulit. Una, i-add muna natin ang ating mga whole numbers, ang 3 at ang 4. So, 3 plus 4, that is equal to 7. And then, since similar ang set of fractions natin, we will just copy 12, our denominator, and then add the numerators. That is 3 plus 7. So, our final answer here is 7. 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. All over, copy the denominator, 12. Okay, so what have you noticed on our answer? Si 10, all over 12, ay pwede pa nating i-lowest term. Again, kung nalilito kung papaano mag-lowest term, meron po tayong video kung papaano ginagawa ang pag-lowest term. Pwede nyo pong balikan ng ating video sa ating channel. So, 10 all over 12, kapag ni-lowest term natin, that will give us 5 all over 6. Dahil si 10 at si 12 ay parehong divisible by 2. Kaya din divide natin si 10 divided by 2, that is 5. 12 divided by 2, that is 6. So, our final answer here is 7 and 5 all over 6. Next example po tayo. Add 
3 and 4 all over 6 and 5 and 5 all over 6. So, mapapansin natin dito, similar pa rin ang ating denominator. So, pwede na ulit tayong directly na mag-add. So, let us add the, the whole numbers, 3 and 5, that is equal to 8. And then, add the numerators, 4 plus 5, all over, copy the denominator, 6. Copy 8. As our whole number, 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. All over, copy the denominator, 6. Okay, so ano po yung napapansin natin dito? The value of our numerator is greater than the value of our denominator. Kapag improper ang fraction natin, ibig sabihin po niyan, magkakaroon tayo ng whole number. So, kailangan po muna natin i-change itong improper fraction natin into mixed number. So, again, kung nalilito sa pag-change ng improper fractions to mixed number, meron po tayong video kung paano ito ginagawa. Pwede nyo po itong balikan. So, hindi na po natin yun iisa-isahin, pero ipapakita pa rin natin ang process. So, ano yung gagawin natin kay 9 all over 6? I-divide po natin si 9 by 6. 9 divided by 6 is equal to 1. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. Let us subtract. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So, from here, makakabuo tayo ng uh, mixed number that is equal to 1. Ito yung 1. Then, a remainder will be the numerator. All over, the divisor will be our denominator. Okay? So, ito na po ngayon yung value ng 9 all over 6. So, let us now add 8 plus 1, that is 9. And then, let us now copy our new fraction. That is 3 all over 6. Now, what have you noticed on our fraction? Pwede pa po natin itong simplify. We can divide 3 by 3 and 6 divided by 3. And that will give us the final answer, 3 divided by 3, 1. All over, 6 divided by 3, 2. So, our final answer here is 9 and 1 half. So, ganito naman po ang pag-add ng mixed numbers, fractions, with regrouping. Next naman po is adding the similar fractions. So, for example, our given are 3 all over 6 and 4 all over 9. So, paano po natin ito i-add? So, napakadali lang. Meron din po tayong video sa pagkuha ng LCD. Doon po tinuturo natin ang pagkuha ng LCD. So, 3 all over 6 plus 4 all over 9. So, hindi po natin gagamitin ang butterfly method kasi ang iba ay nalilito at nahihirapan. So, gagamitin po natin yung traditional method na meron tayo. So, patayo muna natin ang ating whiteboard. So, it's 3 all over 6 plus 4 all over 9. I-rewrite natin vertically ang ating fractions. Dahil kukunin po natin ang kanilang LCD. Kapag dissimilar, magkaiba ang kanilang denominator. Hindi po natin sila basta-basta pwedeng i-add. Kailangan po natin kunin ang similar form ng ating fractions. So, ano po ba yung uh, LCD natin dito? So, sa least common multiple po, 
magtatagpo ang 6 at 9 sa 18. Ayan. So, kung nagtataka, saan po nang galing yung 18? So, 6. Sulat natin yung 6 and then 9. Skip count lang. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. And then, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and so on. Okay, so pag sinabing LCM, least common multiple, pinakamababang common po sa kanila. And that is 18. So, yan po ang ating naging LCD. Okay, then meron din tayong video sa short method ng pagkuha ng GCF and LCM. Ngayon po, dahil meron na tayong denominator, which is 18, let us now proceed. 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 times 3, that is 9. 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2 times 4, that is equal to 8. And now, pwede na po nating i-add dahil similar na ang ating fraction. So, let's copy the denominator which is 18. And then, 9 plus 8. 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. Then, copy the denominator, 18. So, this is now our final answer. And last po, for our last example, let us add 7 all over 8 plus 4 all over 6. So, again, this is an example of the similar fractions dahil magkaiba po ang kanilang denominator. So, kung mag skip count tayo, makukuha natin ng LCM. Okay, so, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. Next po, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. So, makikita natin dito na nagtagpo ang 8 at ang 6 sa common multiple na 24. So, ang magiging LCD po natin dito ay 24. So, 24 divided by 8, that is equal to 3. Times 7, that is 21. 24 divided by 6, that is equal to 4. Times 4, that is equal to 16. So, therefore, let us now add. Dahil pareho na ang ating denominator, kukopyain na lang natin. 24. Then, let us add our numerators. 21 plus Ito po, 16. So, our answer here will be 21 plus 16 is equal to 37 all over 24. So, again, the answer here is in mixed, uh, sorry, is in improper fraction form. So, ano po yung gagawin natin? We need to change this into mixed number. So, may link po tayo kung paano po ito gagawin. Pero, ipapakita na rin natin ang shortcut natin dito. So, let us divide 37 divided by 24. Ilan po ang kasyang 24 sa 37? Isa. 1 times 24, that is 24. Subtract, 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. This will lead us to the whole number here will be our whole number. Then, yung remainder natin will be the numerator. And then, the divisor will still be our denominator. 
Sa ibig sabihin po, si 37 all over 24 is equal to 1 and 13 over 24. So, ayan po yung iba't ibang uh, paraan ng pag-aad ng mga simple fractions and mixed numbers with and without regrouping. So, nawa marami tayong natutunan. At kung may mga katanungan lang po kayo, pwede nyo po itong i-chat sa ating comment section. Thank you very much!